All right, you guys, January 23rd, 2021. And yes, we are going out for a little drive. We got a little snow on the windshield for a second. Now we don't. All right, then. So yeah, we're gonna just uh, go out cruising, see what happened while we watch the fights. I don't want to give away what happened, but I knew what was gonna happen. Just like in all the Khabib fights when everyone thought Ferguson was gonna win, then they thought Gaethje was gonna win. Like, it's just a joke, man. Just a joke, bruh. So anyway, yeah, 10 o'clock p.m. Uh, it says 32, but I guarantee you it's not. It's gotta be about 25. So that'll be going down very, as we go here. This is so awesome, man. I freaking love it, man. It's a police officer right there. So this is Big Bear Boulevard now, folks. And it looks pretty good. We're gonna have to shut this off right here. Hang on. I was just worried about having the phone on me. But yeah, it's still snowing lightly. For those of you driving out tomorrow, please be very careful. Bring chains with you. No matter what, it doesn't matter what you drive, just, just bring them with you to have them in the car just in case. Even with uh, all-wheel drive or four-wheel drive and snow tires, sometimes um, if if it gets a little too hairy, um, believe it or not, those chains will, will help you. I know it'll feel weird to have chains on four-wheel drive, but it's all good. Like, just, uh, you don't have to necessarily put them on, but have them with you in case Caltrans and CHP check you to make sure. Um, lots of times when it's really bad, if it's still open, if it's R2 conditions, they will let you uh, drive through as long as you have the chains with you. Um, but if you have all-wheel drive, four-wheel drive, and snow tire, and snower, <laughs> and snow tires, you're, you're, you're going to probably be fine. But, yeah, that's what I suggest, you guys. That's what I suggest. trying to think who's asking me that question but hang on all right guys so we're going to turn on crystal lake here this is looking beautiful back here tonight dude I really want to tell you guys what happened so I'm gonna tell you right now if you don't want to know put your phone down or your speakers off for a second basically uh, right now I, I'm, I'm gonna tell you guys Michael Chandler knocked out Dan Hooker in the first round pretty quick I knew that would happen and then Connor got knocked out I knew that was gonna to happen too I knew it like I, I it's just <laughs> But it's just so funny for the average average fight fan out there, like just all their talk about this and that, like about how Connor's gonna just run through Dustin again and it's gonna be 60 seconds this time, just like Connor predicted. It's just it's just crazy. Like MMA is my life, you guys. Like it really is. So it's just kind of crazy um, how just so I don't know. I just get I let it frustrate me. For some reason I'm I'm an idiot like that. But anyway, how much snow do, we, do you think we guys, how much snow do you think we got, you guys? When we get up to the stop sign, we're gonna hit the brake so you can see. Hold well, on, I'm gonna make sure there's, there's no cars coming. Actually, I'll just do it on the main road. I was gonna slam on the brake so you guys can see how, look at this, this is nice, nothing. No one coming either way. So if I hit the brakes, this is what will happen. I just slammed on the brakes. How freaking awesome is that? We didn't even move. We just stayed straight. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Bumpa, Bumpa, do you know? I hit my brakes so I don't hit you. I want to be on the west of the I like to drive in all of the snow. What do you get when you drive in the snow? I like it a lot. Look at how much the temperature dropped. Oh, baby. A second, okay. We're gonna, we're gonna hit the brakes again. No, I mean not really, but I just need to pull over for a second. Check something out real quick. Alright, sorry about that folks. Look at how beautiful this is. We got a little snow. We're getting some snow falling from the sky and it's very beautiful. So look guys I'm driving in the very middle of the road. When there's nobody on the road I strongly suggest this because if you do lose control you have a lot of room to maneuver. Um, you're just doing what's safest for you, and I've strongly suggested. As I said, I don't want anything to happen to you guys. I want you guys to come up here and have a great time. Contribute to the economy up here, and contribute to your soul. This is, is that mountain? Oh, shisa, it is. That's right. It's right here, then. I can't even slide. I'm hitting the brakes. If I go into a turn on with the gas, I can slide for sure. So guys, when you're driving through these neighborhoods, super important when you're taking the back streets and I show you guys that you truly drive super slow. Um, some people are a little bit concerned about people driving fast through the neighborhoods, but the fact is, you guys, for the people who are driving fast through these neighborhoods, I guarantee you they're locals. Because you guys come up here, you don't know these back streets. You don't know what's right up ahead of you. So I know you guys aren't driving too fast through here. Um, but it's just a very important point for me to tell you guys to please, please do not drive fast through these streets. It's very important. There's there's kids um, and people just out in the streets, partying, having a good time, building snowmen, sledding and stuff. So just be super careful um, because I would hate for something to happen and then I, I wouldn't be able to really show you guys these routes because I trust that you that, that that you guys are super respectful and I know you guys are so we are all good I just wanted you guys to know that I'm getting some complaints and stuff but honestly like my thought process was simply that it's got to be a lot of locals who are because they know these back streets so when it's snowing and they're driving fast I don't think you guys are driving fast through the back streets that you don't know where they go or what they do so anyway I'm gonna shut this down right now for a second after we pass this guy at his personal plow. He's got a personal plow. I like the personal plow. Oh, baby, you. Now oh, we're getting some more snow now. That's yeah, coming down heavier now, actually. Okay, guys. So we just uh, took some back streets a little bit and avoided this accident that I saw kind of happen. And so we actually made sure that, I, I just made sure that they exchanged information properly. Um, because a friend of mine just got in a, a major car accident. He's got a brand new car, guys. Brand new car. He's a young man. Um, his name's Anthony. Just a cool young dude, man. He's like probably 22, 23 years old. And he uh, got a brand new Subaru. And someone ran uh, just a couple days ago on the snow and ice. They, side, they ran into him, sideswiped him. And he basically, his car was totaled. Brand new car, man. So sad. And the person who crashed into him wasn't insured. And I told him, well, I'm sure he had uninsured motorist, right? But he doesn't know. And I'm like, what, dude? How do you not know that? You gotta know that, Anthony. 
But I told him I have another car. If he needs to use a car, if it's a desperate situation, he just has to pay for the registration and then he can use it. Oh, baby, you, you got what I need. Okay, this is Big Bear Boulevard right here. State Route Highway 18, State Route 18. But we're gonna take this right through to North Shore. And we're getting some snowfall And it's coming down nicely We're getting the snowfall And it's coming down nicely We are getting the snowfall on the dance floor. Too many dicks on the dance floor. Too many. Look at this, North Shore, there's nobody on it. There's 1021. We don't have anybody on here. I love it, you guys. This is so much fun. I get to have so much fun with you guys. I'll show you guys what's going on. So yeah, we're on North Shore. Um, we will be going around close to the other side of town. I think we're gonna actually do a pretty long video. We'll do the whole valley, you guys. The whole entire valley. So that includes Baldwin. So you guys can get a sense of the snow rule. Even after this little storm. Just to see how much snow fell and where. And you'll see that there's very little snow over in Baldwin, I guarantee you. Compared to the other side of town where I live and further out that direction. Like this person should be pulling over to let that guy behind him pass. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I hope I don't sound like a toolbox. But yeah, man, that was a sick fight tonight, yo. They were sick ass fights, yo. They were sick, yo. By the way, Greg Monroe, what's up, dude? How you doing, brother? Guys, Greg is a good friend from town. He is, uh, he's actually one of the people who made, who's made me feel comfortable around here, and I can't thank him enough. He's just a sweetheart of a guy. Appreciate him, man. that gets from North Shore on the to, to the other side of, of the lake. Even though we're past the lake, it's the other side of the little uh, valley, or the little reserve area. So if you're trying to get from one side of the lake to the other, there are four different ways. You can go down Paradise here, or backwards, go down Greenway, that direction, or back that way further, go down Division, or go down Stanfield, or go all the way around, and that's it. But I love the snow, it's so nice. Especially when there's no one out. Guys, this is insane. I mean, we are just a one-man team here. And I'm slamming my brake. Oh my gosh, we're gonna have fun around this turn, watch this. Uh, we might even turn a little too much here. This is gonna be kind of fun, so let's try. Make sure we, oops, there's a car coming. Whoop. I'll wait till they turn off their brights, because I seem to always turn off. Oh, I guess they're not gonna turn off their brights. All right, then I'm not gonna turn off my, oh, oh, there we go. Because I always end up turning off my brights first and then no one else ends up turning off theirs. And it just, it made, breaks my heart. I start crying about it. I go home and I sit in the corner, I start crying about it. It's very sad to me. It's very sad to me. It's a very sad scene. Can you guys see me in the mirror? Can you see? Can you see? Huh? Can you see? I think you can see, bro. <laughs> I hope you can see him. 
So what we're going to do is once we get down through here, we're going to make a U-turn and go back the other way because we, have to, we need to get it handled, you know? We're gonna go around, as I said, through the Baldwin side and just do a nice long drive along the lake, around the lake, yo. So we're gonna be getting a break tomorrow, you guys, most of the day tomorrow, and then get ready. I'm telling you folks, get freaking ready. Cause this here's the wildest storm in the wilderness. All right guys, hang tight. All right guys, this is so beautiful. So we're on Elijah. Every time I'm on this street, I always feel like I'm going to Dodger Stadium because it's Elijah Parkway. <laughs> Hey, hey, who's this guy? Who's that guy right there talking talking to smack right there, huh? We gotta smack this guy. Yeah, seriously, you know what? Like, I get so irritated with some of these freaking unbelievable people, dude. Like, I'm trying to do a good thing for you guys, and, and they just need attention. It's just so mind-boggling to me. But it's okay. It's okay. I'm not gonna stoop down to their level, which I just did by saying that. <laughs> but it is what it is. I don't know what to do. It's, it's, it's what it is, man. Yes, it is what it is. Oh, it's so pretty. 27 degrees. All right, guys, we got to turn this off for a second. Well, actually, let's just, uh, you know what? Let's go down the street right now. Forget it. We'll just go down this one. Never been down this one actually. So we'll see how far it takes us. Oh, dead end it says at the end. You see that? Oh well. Hold on, let me make a U turn here. Hang on, let me turn off the phone for a second so I can make a U turn. This is awesome looking. Alright, guys. In a quarter mile, turn right onto East Peak. Yeah, yeah. Thanks, buddy. Alright, ladies and gentlemen. Lentlemen. Lentlemen. So we are on a road called Shore. We just drove through a neighborhood from North Shore down Paradise and then came to the neighborhood. And yeah, 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 yeah. So we're gonna make a right again because we're, uh, we're gonna go through Baldwin the other way um, because we've already done most of this. Uh, if I go to the left, we would have done most of that route coming back down Highway 18, so I wanna go the other way. As I said, it's gonna be a longer video, you guys, so forgive me about that. Turn left onto Rose Hill. Oops, I guess I'm not turning left onto Rose Hill. Because that guy was there. We're turning left right here. Turn now. left onto Sawmill Drive. Then turn left onto West Airplane Boulevard. Okay. Alright guys, I just ate here for dinner. My favorite Mac place in town. Cocina de Mexico. Yo me gusta muchísimo porque la comida es muy bien. It's muy rico. It's ay 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 yo me gusta. Muchísimo. Cuando vienes aquí, yo quiero que todos a uh, comer con la cocina de México porque las personas que uh, son los jefes ahí son muy bonitos personas y, y uh, todos los días son muy feliz. Yo me gusta todos ahí y la comida es muy 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 bien, muy bien, muy fresca. Okay, give me a minute, guys. Hang on. Hey, guys, this is kind of sad. So we're pulling out here because we're going to do that drive around the lake. We're going to go through Baldwin the way I didn't want to go. But look at this guy got stuck right here, and he just couldn't couldn't get out, and he ran right into the wall. There's no one in the car. There's definitely no one in there. But, guys, when you're up here and you see a car like that stranded just like that, it's always good just to, just to kind of check around it and make sure that there's no sign of, of like, anybody inside the car, okay? people man I don't want anything to happen to you guys and then right here guys do not take this road up and down this goes to Sugarloaf that's called Maple you don't want to do that because you're gonna have a bad time 
So I want you guys to keep your eyes focused on the amount of snow that we're coming up on the further we go this way. It's less and less. And then once we get back to the other side of town, there'll be more and more. Oh, and more and more. It's going to be more snow. It's going to be more snow. We've got the snow. Alright guys, this is Highway 38 right here. Yeah boy. It's Highway 38. We're gonna have some fun. But well, we're gonna have some fun for here too. It's 11 p.m. on the Dizot. 28 Dizzeries. It's 28 degrees and I'm feeling all at ease. 28, 28, 28, 28, 28, 28. I love it. I love it so much. It's so beautiful. Cuando tenemos nuevo nieve, es, yo soy muy feliz todo el día, toda la noche, todo el tiempo que está nieviendo. Yo no sé si yo, yo decir bien, pero nieviendo, nieve, nieve. Yo creo que yo soy hablando uh, más o menos bien, pero yo no sé. Uh, por ejemplo, uh, uh, Yo no puedo hablar muy bien nomás, pero yo entiendo todo. Y yo quiero ayudar a las personas que no pueden hablar inglés, si yo puedo. Uh, yo puedo ayudar, solamente necesito un poquito tiempo para uh, escribir uh, correcto. Yo no sé, pero yo quiero ayudar si puedo. Y si tienes un, unas preguntas, por favor, dime. Porque yo soy aquí si necesitas hablar con mí o si tienes preguntas todo right? yo quiero ayudar es muy importante para ayudar look at that handsome guy man look at that guy with a little like one day shadow of beard what a handsome SOB that guy is right there look at you you sexy bastard <laughs> just kidding just kidding just kidding whoop 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 all right guys so here's some spots to go sledding over here on the right hand side just find an open spot that doesn't say no trespassing or anything like that i'm sure i'm gonna get a condescending local to to uh you know just share that they need attention and they're gonna get mad at me for inviting you guys up here it's such a joke like instead of you just coming up here now like bring your whole family like bring your dogs your cats your mice your rats your fish your snakes bring it all bring it all and then when you guys go sledding up here please do me a this is snowing hard right here do me a big favor uh, please do not leave your sleds in on the side here in the hills and stuff because a lot of these plastic sleds get broken and then people just leave them. Like, I, I can't tell you guys how much garbage is found in all these hills once all the snow is, is melted from the snow season. It just, it just uncovers just like a freaking, uh, just a huge dump. It's just horrible. So please, guys, please pick up after yourselves. Um, it's not hard to do. This is your vacation spot, man. Like, 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 this is your spot, guys. This is your spot. I mean, this is your vacation home. So... I'm, I'm not saying that you guys do that, okay? I'm really not. I'm just I'm just asking you guys to please be extra vigilant. And if you see someone littering out of their car or like something like that, do not hesitate to pick the trash up and throw it right back at them in their car. I know that's really aggressive and really just kind of crazy, but you know what? Like it's gotten to the point where we need to be extremely careful of this town and just, just treat it with such love and respect. Um, and unfortunately, a lot of people they come up here and they don't they just trash the place and it's very sad because this I, I you know this isn't a big area and we want to try to keep it as beautiful as we can and I know most of you guys do I know most of you guys do I, I'm just asking for people to just please not litter up here um, and yeah when you're done sl like sledding and stuff like that please please make sure you you take your uh, sleds with you and just toss them in the trash or or something like that I just I just don't want this place to just be trashed you know 
And I know pretty much all of you are just amazing human beings who are not like that. So please do not take it as if I'm talking to you guys. But if the shoe fits, wear it. I'm not trying to be a jerk. Like I'm, I'm not like, oh, so you're the one throwing trash? Like guys, like I'm guilty of it too. Like not of like, like just blatantly throwing the, the uh, trash out. But look, I, <laughs> I've, I've littered before and I don't feel good about it, but it's been a long time. And I'm not saying up here, but like, uh, just please you guys. I know you guys love this place a lot, so let's just keep it absolutely smoking beautiful. And yeah, we're in Baldwin. We're getting more snow over here, but look at the sides of the road. There's hardly anything, hardly anything. So yeah, just had uh, some little just smoking hot <laughs> girl. She was in a bikini and walked out to my car in her bare feet in a bikini and all this snow and hopped in for a few minutes. Oh my God, like just, it's not what you think guys. It's not, it's not, it's not what you think. I know that the way that I brought that up sounds bad, but my God, like, I'm just like, oh my gosh. <laughs> just a cutie, holy moly. I'm telling you guys, and she was just complimenting me up and down, and then up and down, and then up and down. <laughs> uh, it's late, guys. Give me a break. But yeah, that was a pretty nice surprise, man. Like, just she was too perfect for me. I'll tell you that. I couldn't. I, there's no way I could, I could ever get a chick like that. But it seemed like she was she was kind of digging it a little bit. But yeah, I just don't have time anyway. But man. Holy smokes. Can't even remember her name. I was just so like she jumped into my car in a bikini, dude. Like her whole butt showing and everything. Like, I'm just like, oh my god. I am in heaven. <laughs> oh gosh, I hope I don't sound like a chauvinist. Because I'm really not. Like I respect women big time. This 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 lady was just absolutely gorgeous. Just everything about her. Just beautiful face, perfect body, just amazing. Love it. Absolutely love it. And, you know, younger than me. So that's awesome. I'm 40. She's probably like mid-20s. Just unbelievable, though. All right, that's enough. That's enough. Splat, splat. Because, once again, I don't have time for ladies anyway. Because, unfortunately, I'm so busy with my businesses. Once my businesses and the YouTube channel and my other YouTube channel grow, um, then I can start to enjoy life a bit. But in the meantime, I really need to focus on the important things, which is get my future, you know, all in order and, um, and then I can be social and I know I'm 40 and I need to, you know, be getting married and having kids soon. I know this. I really want kids. I really do. I want my own kids big time. I was a stepdad for a couple years, two, three kids. It, it was awesome. Um, you know, I, I'd be okay with, with other people's kids too, but I think the greatest gift on earth that were ever given is probably children. And I've just never experienced that yet. Now, every Father's Day when I go out to the mailbox, I get a bit nervous. <laughs> but, uh. Ah? Uh, nah? <laughs> yeah, so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I love this. I love it. 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 Not, not to be disrespectful. I just wanted wanted you to talk to you guys. You guys are my friends. Like I just like just yeah, blown away, blown away. And she was so sweet to me too. Usually girls that hot are not nice to me, <laughs> but she was nice to me. But maybe she was a little drunk or high or something because she came out to the car in barefoot, walked like literally guys 15 yards in the snow, and she's in a bikini. Like, not the kind that covers your butt, either. Like, the freaking just dental floss on the butt. It was just awesome. She's the awesome, man. I love it. I liked it a lot. <laughs> I like it a lot. <laughs> but, yeah. 
once again i'm not a chauvinist i'm just very shallow because like i i've liked certain type of women that don't like me and vice versa it's very unfortunate that's why i've never been happy really i i've had a few fiancés i've had plenty of girlfriends but i've just it's just never been anything where it's been like something just you know um, because as I said, all the women that I want just want nothing to do with me, which is, you know, maybe that's just how my confidence was. Cause I know I'm not like, like an ugly guy, but I know I'm not Brad Pitt. I might be Brad's pits. <laughs> Look at this guys. This is way out here on the Baldwin side, man. I'm getting just dumped on back here. I can't believe this. Shice. Guys, that is so cool, man. And unfortunately, I got to pull over here for a second because I've got to use the restroom and we have a long way to go. So I'm just going to have to use this restroom real quick. There's a portal potty right over here. I'll turn it off for right now. All right, you guys. I'm just, I'm about five pounds lighter now. Oops, what am I doing here? We got to turn on the light so I can see. There we go. Oh my gosh, dude, it's really coming down. This is crazy. So we're on Highway 18 on the back of Baldwin Lake. This is basically, if you just came into town from like Lucerne Valley and Apple Valley, this is the way you'd be going. I know you can't really tell where we're at because it's very difficult in all this snow. Oh, there's a car, there's a car. <laughs> there's a car. Oh my God, it's a car. And see, like I turn off my brights and then like five seconds later, he turns off his brights. Barnyard, jeez Louise, man. I just don't like we're facing each other like right in front of each other and I turn off my brights and then like I don't know did you have to look for him or something I, I don't know <laughs> I'm, sorry, I'm sorry guys I'm just uh, I'm just in one of them moods right now this is not a bad mood just one of them feisty moods like I'm gonna smackety smack don't talk back blah 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 all right here we go guys I can't believe this what is going on here Oh, you can't even see hardly. This is like very, this is coming down pretty good, man. Hey, we're gonna do the zoom in thing again because that was, oh, look at how awesome that looks, dude. <laughs> oh, look at how much snow. Wow. That's what, it really, that's what it looks like for me driving. Honest to goodness, I'm not joking. That's what it looks like for me. I really think that's cool. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, I just gotta get by this guy and then we can, we can play a little bit more. We can fly. We can fly. Oh my gosh, dude, I can't believe this. Like, this is crazy awesome. Crazy, crazy cool. Crazy, crazy cool. Just driving in the middle of the road. Crazy. I'm crazy about you. Oh my gosh, dude. That, oh, man. She was freaking so hot. Oh my god. And then I was like, because it was a guy there that her friend who was texting me and uh so i was like yeah tell your husband thank you and like uh she was like oh he's he's not my husband he's just a friend <laughs> and so right there i thought that may have been a little open door for me but uh as i said it's 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 a tourist and i just uh um when i lived on the big island of hawaii and i worked at the hilton waikoloa resort like that's that's how low i was like i would make I would have some fun with these uh, tourist girls there and then they would leave like it was just at the time you know being a young man like I thought that was awesome you know no relationship just boom bada bing bada boom and uh yeah but in hindsight you know like I'm I'm not like that and I wasn't like that I think I did those things back then because I was so insecure with myself and I still am a bit but I've gotten a lot better gotten a lot better i'm just uh yeah man <laughs> oh my gosh dude what was her name jeez louise jeez louise and as i said even even if i like you know even if this girl like did get back to me or something like still unfortunately i've just got so much on my plate it wouldn't be fair because i just don't i can't give the attention necessary to you know, maintain a relationship. I, I just can't. I just can't. I just can't do it. But what I can do is zoom in. 
and do some more of that heavy snow like that dry. Look at that, dude. I mean, what is going on? It, lo it looks like a like a fire hydrant like exploded out here or something. I mean, look at this thing. It's very beautiful. It's very beautiful. Beauty, beauty, beautiful. Oh my gosh, I can't believe this. This is unreal. So you guys have been keeping an eye on the roads, right? Seeing how little snow is over in Baldwin and how little snow is over here compared to what we're about to get into. I'm not talking about from the sky right now, but on the ground, uh, when we get over to the dam, because we're doing the whole entire valley right now, guys. I know this is a long pain in the butt video, and I'm sorry. It's not even gonna be uploaded till like two in the morning, I promise, probably. But at least it'll be something for you guys to check it out and be very excited about it. Because I'm very excited about it with all the snow coming down like this. Coming down like this. Oh, coming down like this. What's going on there? Like this, like this, like this. Okay. This guy doesn't have his brights on, so I'll just turn off my lights. I'm not turn them off, you know what I mean. Oh wait, that's a freaking uh, a sled. It's a snow remover. It's a snow remover, this guy. He's a snow removing guy. Oh, look, he's plowing from the back. He's plowing from the back. All right, let's get out of here. Let's get the flock. Let's make like a bunch of birds and get the flock out of here. Let's make like a baby and head out. Let's make like jelly and jam. Or why don't we make like a banana and split? Um, why don't we make like a tree and get out of here? <laughs> uh, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Why don't you make like a hockey team and get the puck out of here? That one's pretty good. I don't hear a reaction from you guys. I don't hear any laughing. What's going on? Why aren't you guys laughing along with me here? I mean, what's going on? No. I mean, what's going on? What's going on? When I am down and all my soul so weary, when troubles come and my heart burden me, and I am still. Yeah, guys so look it's 27 degrees 11 20 p.m uh we i think by the end of this little storm here we'll have about four inches four inches more from what we got yesterday total in my area baldwin's probably only going to get another inch um and the dam's probably going to get an, a little more than we get at my house isn't that a damn shame. all right yeah boy oh storage we've got some storage guys oh there's a co-op it's a co-op. Is that, no, it's not a co-op. Is it a co-op? It's not a co-op. Nope, not a co-op. I thought it was a co-op. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. It's such an awesome thing. Yes, 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 yes. That was a cop though. That's great. And he's hitting his, he's hitting his brakes. What else would he be hitting his brakes for? Unbelievable, dude. Like, oh no. Are you really turning around? Because I wasn't speeding. 
Okay, no, he just made it left. Okay. Woo. It's kind of scary when you're the only one on the road, and then right when the cop passes you, he just applies the brakes like like they're going out of style. <laughs> I thought it was for me, but I wasn't speeding, so I have nothing to worry about. Look at look at that guy. Go look at that guy. Look at that guy right there. Okay. So yeah, um, when you guys drive up tomorrow. If you, whichever one of you people are driving up tomorrow, please, please, please bring chains with you. I don't care if it's, if you have a four wheel drive, all wheel drive with snow tires, just have them with you just in case you need the little bit extra traction, especially for those of you who aren't as confident out there. It wouldn't hurt you to be a little extra safe. I'm telling you guys, and I want you to have the best time of your life when you come up here. I want you to have a killer time. And it's not a killer time when you're, you know, when you can't get anywhere and you're waiting for AAA or waiting for someone to help you. And um, yeah, it's very difficult. So I just really want you guys to just, you know, uh, as I said, it's a pain in the butt, but be extra, extra prepared. So you guys can be extra, extra fun. Have extra, extra fun. Read all about it, you know. Extra, extra, read all about it. Extra, extra, read all about it. Extra, extra, read all about it. Yo, yo. Extra, extra, read all about it. Extra, extra, read all about it. I just made that song up. It's, it's my new song. It's called Extra, Extra, Read All About It. Okay, guys, so we're on North Shore. We are in between Greenway and Division. Or no, I'm sorry. We're in we're between Division and Stanfield Cutoff. So we just are coming up to Division or Stanfield Cutoff right now. And Stanfield Cutoff is the last turn that you can make to get to the other side of the lake. Um, to get to Big Bear Lake and whatnot. Otherwise, you're going to be staying straight all the way through Fawnskin, all the way around the lake till you get to the dam, and then back through. <gasps> Funny enough, that's where we're going. Because I want you guys to get the most awesome videos ever. You guys freaking rock, dude. You guys rock. Just because you rock doesn't mean you're made of stone, though, right? That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Look, there's no one behind us. There's no one around us. Let's just... Zoom in for a second. Just look at that beautiful snow. Man, I love it so much. I don't know why I'm whispering. Great white buffalo. Great white buffalo. I have come here through these roads we move and so Guys, we gotta turn the light down here. Hang on, I just gotta shut off the phone. Turn on the light. All right, here we go. We're back on. Now we're not gonna have to stop really until we get to the other uh, back home, basically. So, guys, get ready for a long video. This is gonna be long, but we're gonna have a little fun cruising through it on these main streets. We're gonna have a little fun, okay? Once we get into the neighborhoods, though, once again, guys, I can't stress this enough. Like, it's really important to me that if, if I give you guys these back roads, to get from place to place a lot faster. You need to be very careful and drive very slow on these back roads. Um, because if I hear any more locals complaining about it, like as I said, I'm pretty sure it's, it's, it's the locals who are driving fast on the back roads, guarantee you, because they know the roads. <laughs> like like, like you, you, you new guys are not gonna be flying along the back roads because you don't know them. So like, like it's just, they just want attention. Some of these, some of these, uh, these people, that's why they just bitch and complain all the time. But most of them are super cool with it. And they understand that you guys are why we are able to live here. Um, we just want you just to have a great time, but at the same time, just, just have as much respect as you possibly can. And you guys do, that's the whole point. You guys do. So yeah, I, I love you guys, man. You guys are wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. You guys are my heart and soul. You're my heart inspiration. Now I'm driving out of control. You're my heart and my heart inspiration. <laughs> Seriously, man, I've gotten to 
problem and I don't know what to do. I got the problem and I got to do it too. I thought I was going to have a little more fun on this road, but I'm just mesmerized by the snow coming down, guys. It like just, just locks me in. It just locks me in. Doesn't it feel like we're going light speed? If I turn on, if I zoom in, it'll feel more like we're, like we're going light speed. Right? Like, doesn't that feel like we're going light speed when you look at it like that? <laughs> That's so cool, man. Yeah. We are going light speed, folks. Yeah, boy. Yeah, boy. Oh, boy. It's a good place to be. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. <laughs> yeah guys just please please be safe when you come up as i said tomorrow's gonna be your your guys' last day uh for like of of what i'm considering any potential safety to get up here tomorrow's gonna be it otherwise all week long um it's gonna be it's gonna be a masterful just just painting by mother nature i'm telling you guys this is going to be beautiful and i just want you guys to experience it but i don't want you to get stuck i really don't want you to get stuck you guys it worries me so much because a lot of you are saying that you're you're you're, you're going to come up anyway um you'll be very careful yeah obviously but guys like please 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 understand this is life and death this is no joke as i said it can take triple a over 24 hours to get to you in this type of weather and the reason is because there's only a, a couple guys up here. That's it. That's it. So please, please know you are so important. You are so important to me. So we're in Fonskin now, guys. Wouldn't it be nice if we don't see one car the whole way back to the dam? Let's see if we can pull that off. I don't think that's going to happen, but let's see if we can pull it off. One of my friend Gabriel, one of his favorite, oh, we already passed it, I think. Darn it. There's this little part of Fonskin that has like a, like right, like right, like right over here we just passed it. It has a few little or not little, but just beautiful houses with a couple of the bears made out, carved out of wood. So it just looks insanely cool. And Gabriel loves that place. And I was gonna try to actually rent it as a surprise for us, but he always says he's, he, he's gonna come up and he never makes it or they come up and do not visit, but that's okay. That's okay. I, I don't have much time anyway. Like I'm a crazy busy person. I'd make time to like give them a hug and stuff, but unfortunately you guys, that's also one thing. And like, I, I don't want this to, to sound in any way mean or like anything like that. When you guys come up here, please understand. I do the best I can to like help you guys out, give you as much info as I can and just try to just, just help as much as I, I, I possibly can. But between this and my other jobs that I, I work like more than regular full-time hours. Like I, I'm, I am extremely tired. And that's why I try to give you guys as much information as possible. So if like something happens and you, you get stuck or like something like you can handle it because I can't be everywhere. You guys, I, as much as, as I want to help you out, I cannot be everywhere. It's like, uh, you know, like, uh, if you need chains put on like, dude, well, first of all, I don't know how to put on chains, never done it. So no idea. And I've avoided that for so many years because it just looks like such a pain in the butt. Um, so, but like, like as much as I want to help with like that type of stuff, guys, you've got to understand, dude, I am so ridiculously busy. I work more than like three times what the average full-time person works. Like I'm not joking. Um, and so I like my own time, my own space, every, every, you know, every, once in a while. Um, but like, yeah, like, like if, if like things like that happen up here, like, you know, of course I want to help, but please, please, please. Like when it comes to like anything like that, like that's why I give you as much information as I can. So you can try to avoid these situations or like watch a YouTube video or, or like something. Um, 
and gosh, I really hope that like doesn't come out bad because I feel like I'm sounding like a total jerk. And my God, like I don't want any of you to think that because I love you all so much, like ridiculously much. I love you guys so much. And I just want the best for you guys. And at the same time, I want to be, you know, I have to be happy myself too once in a while. And uh, unfortunately, I don't give myself much happiness because I'm always out doing stuff for other people. And, but it, you know, that's a good thing. That's a good thing. And it, it actually does make me happy doing nice things like that for other people. I mean, it, it really does. But please just, uh, just understand and never take it personally and stuff. It, it's, it's like, you know, like I'm a cook. I'm a good cook, but I'm just too busy to like come over and like cook for you type thing. Like as much as I would want to, I just hope you understand what I'm trying to say. I want to meet every single one of you and hang out with you. And I'm desperately trying to make time with my life and my schedule to be able to spend more time with the people I care about and love and show you guys that I really do love you. Not just talk the talk. Like, like I really love you guys. You have no idea. So please, please never take it personally. I love you. I want to help. Um, just, uh, just like, please, like if you get stuck in some like minor thing, like just understand, like I'm up here, this is my full time. Like I work full time and that'd be like if I'm down the hill and you're at your job at McDonald's or, or wherever you work. And then in the middle of, of your shift, I'm like, Hey, can you come help me? And then if you say no, I get mad at you. Like, like that's what happens to me sometimes. It's like, like, dude, first of all, I'm not even in town, so I can't help you. And second of all, it's like, dude, like, 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 what do you want me to do? Like, what do you want me to do? There's really not much that I can do. Hence, I prepare you guys the best that I can. Um, and then it's basically in your guys' own hands from there. Like, uh, you know, there's, there's really not much I can do. Um, love you all. I, I really do. And I'll do what I can to help. So, yeah. Um, I mean, shoot, I can't tell you how many times I've picked you guys up, dropped you guys off places and stuff, but that was back when my business was really slow and just getting up, just growing. And now it's just skyrocketed. It's, it's, it's incredible. And I just don't have time for anything. And it's really, really a sad thing. Like, uh, it, it puts me over the edge doing a lot of these freaking videos, not in a bad way, just in a physical way. Like, like, uh, but I love it so much, you guys. I love doing this for you guys. I love doing it for myself. Um, it's just when you guys come come up here, please expect to put your chains on yourself unless you pay someone or uh, cooking your own dinners and this and that. Like, I'd love to bring you guys with me, cruise around. That's the way I can hang out with you guys. If you guys want to hang out with me, dude, like that's how we can do it is I can pick you up when we are on like, uh, I don't know, doing a video. I can you know, swing by, grab you, and then introduce you to everybody, and we'll take a short little ride. Like, uh, I mean, these are things that I love to do, and I love you guys a lot. Once again, I really hope that this, that didn't sound bad. It's just, I don't know how to say, like, I need time for myself once in a while um, without sounding like a total selfish jerk. Um, so, you know, I'm, I do apologize if that's how that came off, but that was not the intent, not at all not at all like I just I just you know I just want the best for all of us together here I, I want to be able to do what I can for you guys and um, and you guys are always super 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 grateful but then w when I'm asked to do like these like these like just like really over like it's like for me to say no I feel so horrible like, I, like and it's not like I like say no I get the ch I, I do what I can to get the job done like I make phone calls to friends to try to help out or whatnot. Like I go out of my way, but there are just some things that just, I just cannot do. And you know, like I, I really hope I don't sound like a toolbox, but if I do, it is what it is. Thank you guys for understanding. And I'm, I'm always going to be here for you guys. Like, but if it's something like just to like, you know, um, dig yourself out or something like that, like, come on, <laughs> you know, like, like, you got that handled. You got that handled. You're big boys and girls. You know, I try to get you up here safe, and the rest is on you guys. Obviously, whatever you need, I'm going to try to help. But when it comes to, like, that type of stuff, it's just really difficult. Even when a lot of you invite me over for dinner, 
you have no idea how hard it is to like to have to come up with some reason to not but like the the real honest thing is that I'm always working and when I'm not working you guys like to get that time just for me is so crucial or I will go absolutely crazy I will I will and so like I'm a very introverted person these days um, I just like to be just have me time um, and just a lot of people do not get that and that's okay like I love being loved I love the feeling it's wonderful and I love loving you guys it's just, it's just please please do not ever get mad at me if like I can't you know say how high when I'm asked to jump like uh, <laughs> trust me that's the last thing that I want to do is not help you I, you know look if you're like stuck you got in a car accident or like something come on guys I'll be there faster than you can say far Nugent. I promise you like I'm not gonna leave but like when it comes to like other things guys like I, if I had time I would help out I promise you with like a lot of these things like I used to I used to help you guys all the time um so yeah, just please understand, man. This has been bothering me big time because I don't, I don't want you guys to think that like I don't care about you. Like I care about you guys more than you'll ever even understand. So just keep that in mind and know that I'm always here for you. I'm never gonna let you guys down. I'm never gonna let you suffer. But like some of these little things, guys, I just really expect you to like watch a YouTube video and figure these things out. Like uh, this is, yeah, that's all. I mean, me too. I need to watch a YouTube video to learn how to do these darn, uh, yeah, to do that. To, to change. Change, change, change. Change, change, change. But I certainly hope you guys aren't mad at me, man. I really hope not. Because seriously, like when you contact me and if you need something, like, like don't not contact me now for Pete's sake. Like, I don't like I, I don't want anything to change. I just want you guys to like understand, like, uh, like it. It's very difficult for me to say no, even when it becomes dangerous for me to do anything because I'm so exhausted, I'm so delirious. Like, but for for you guys, I I tend to still say yes and and like. <laughs> If I'm not asked as much, then I don't have to say no often um, to like some of these like, like, like digging you out of your freaking driveway. Are you kidding? <laughs> like, come on, man. Like, like, come on, dude. Come on, man. <laughs> I mean, I don't mean to laugh about that, but I mean, I, I was really asked to like, you know, if I could do their whole, whole driveway. And like, I, I almost started crying. I really almost started crying because I didn't want to say no, but I felt like I didn't have a choice really. So I did go help them actually. But this was years back and I didn't like do the whole freaking thing. Like I just did it right next to right next to their tires and put a little plank underneath the car or the a wood plank underneath their tires so they could actually, you know, like make it. But that's all I know how to do is like dig you out. Um but it's, that's very easy. You just put the metal shovel in the snow, push it in, fill up the shovel, and then throw the snow, and then repeat. Just keep on doing that. I mean, it's not like crazy, 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 crazy hard work, but it, it can be over time, man. Uh, anyway, we're coming up to the dam right now, once again, and I'm gonna drop it, but I really hope no one's upset at me about that. As I said, don't not contact me for help. Please contact me for help, because I'll still be able to help in most situations. It's just some little things that just are, like, like, dude, like, I'm already, like, pow, bruh. I'm done, brother. You know, you know, you know, you know, you know the kind, bruh. I'm all pow. No more the kind. We're at the dam, and here is... Yeah, we're at the dam, and look, they got about five inches of snow here, four inches, five inches already. Look at the top of that little berm. So that's, I told you guys, this is the snowiest part of town over here. Look at, you can't even see the freaking berm anymore because the snow plows push so much snow up next to them. Very cool, guys. Very cool. Very, very cool. But yeah, I hate saying no to you guys, man. It's very rare, it really is. But when I do say no, I'm I am I am finding you help though. Just so you know. Like I am I am finding you help. And so it typically gets handled no matter what. 
just understand that. Like, I don't go to sleep until I, 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 I get something accomplished when you guys desperately need me when I can't. Like, a couple times when I was desperately needed for, like, something like that, for, like, like the snow shoveling and stuff, was when um, I wasn't even in town. And it was still difficult for me to say I'm on vacation visiting my mom, who's not super healthy, and blah, 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 blah. Like, guys, I want to help you guys out more than you even understand, man. Like, I mean, ugh. But for a lot of people, just like me, a few years back, I didn't have this kind of life where I was working, including the YouTube channel, 100 hours a week. You know, I, I didn't I didn't imagine that I would ever be doing something like that, like work, working this much. Like I am completely inundated, you guys. I have no time for anything. I don't even have time to get laid, to be like honest. Like that's just, that's pathetic, man. But that's the story of my life, man. But I'm in a position right now where I'm trying to build my future to create something special, to, to leave a legacy behind, to be remembered for something beautiful, to be remembered for helping people. As I'm telling you guys, I can't help. <laughs> but you but you guys understand what I'm saying, right? Like, I just don't want to have to say no. Like, uh, like that's, like, that's just... So if I'm not asked to, like, do these, like, crazy things that take hours and hours, like, when I'm working 15-hour day, like, it's... I just, I just don't know how to, like, explain to you that I want to help. But, yeah. Anyway, I'm dropping that. I really hope you, you understand, though. You can tell it's bothering the heck out of me um, because I just, I'm in, I'm, I, I'm in love with you guys, man. You guys are my family. So anyway, peace out regarding that conversation. We're done with that. Um, well, yeah, we got a good amount of snow over here, man. Look at this. I wanted to be in front of this guy so we can turn on the brights and see all this snow. You know, we're just gonna slow down because this guy's just driving like a tool. I'm just kidding, he's not driving like a tool. He's driving like a normal person should drive on these roads very cautiously. But we're not gonna play that. There we go, now we're gonna turn on our brights there. Oh, now well, we got someone behind us. Ah, oh, this is great. Look at how much snow they got over here already. Guys, so this is, this is the way most of you come into town through here, okay? This is the way. Because you go through the Big Bear Dam and then you come through here. So this is what you guys mostly drive on. This is Highway 18, AKA Big Bear Boulevard. Gosh, it's so gorgeous. Unbelievably gorgeous, man. No chains, guys. Like, uh, because a lot of you ask me what type of chains I'm using or like this and that, and I'm like, dude, I'm using the the chains of confidence. The chains, I don't suggest that to you guys. I suggest every single one of you bring chains, buy chains, and buy the good ones too. Because I've heard the good ones are easier to apply, but I have no idea either way because I've never put them on. I, ha I paid someone up here before I lived here to put them on. And it cost me like a hundred bucks, dude. The guy was, he charged me a hundred bucks. But this was back in 2006 or something when I was 26. Yeah. Oh yeah. I want to get in front of this guy so we can, you know, turn on the brights during this heavy snow. But of course not. It's all right. Boulder Bay, you guys. Gosh, it just looks so ominous over here, doesn't it? Just everything just looks so, just like, beautiful. <laughs> it really does look so beautiful.
on some serious buns. Sorry, I had to take a phone call. Or was I passing? You guys figured it out. Guys, we're uh, coming into the main part of Big Bear Lake pretty quickly here. It's 11:47. What's the temp? What's the temp? 27 there. 28 here. <laughs> okay. Seriously, I got some problems. I really do have a lot of problems, but 99 problems and the snow ain't one. 99 problems and the snow ain't one. It's coming down a little lighter now, but I think it's supposed to pick up a little bit more and then uh, be done for a little bit of the day tomorrow, but then Sunday night, oh my gosh, guys, the hammering begins. The hammering begins. That sounds like me and my ex talking to each other. Just kidding. There's no hammering involved. All right. Uh... It was a one-sided drubbing. <laughs> so here's where I do the roller coaster here, and that's one of the sledding parks right here, guys. You can pay to come sledding here. I suggest you guys do that if you can afford a couple extra bucks because it's just so much more worth it to come have fun and pay in a place that's already, you know, like you got to keep it taking into consideration the safety measures that are implemented doing these things up here. So they're definitely looking out for us, looking out for you guys. Um, that's why it's a little more money. It's yeah. It's so you don't have to worry about sliding into the street or anything like that which is a very brilliant, brilliant, cool feeling to have. <laughs> worrying, not worrying about going into the street, bro. Oh, look at this guy. He's hauling some serious, serious money. What is he doing, my friend? Whoop, 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 whoop. so awesome I just love that picture right there oh. here's the hotel we stayed at at night that's what it looks like at night then we're gonna stay at this place eventually here it's called the, the club let's take a look at that there's no one behind us the club, man. Yeah, boy. Alright. Oh, I just love this place, man. I just like it a lot. I like it a lot. Oakside's a good restaurant. I like it a lot. <laughs> you know I really like it when I, you know, use my Jim Carrey, I like it a lot. From Dumb and Dumber. I like it a lot. One of my favorite movies of all time, folks. Doom and Dumber, man. It's very good. Very good, my friend. I like the Dumb and Dumber.
So we're going down Pine Knot now. This is the main street in the village. P-I-N-E-K-N-O-T. Pine Knot. It's a Pine Knot. Look at that. I think I'm beautiful. Ah, that guy ate it, dude. You see that poor dude? Oh, man. I hope he's okay. I hope that's not an older person. Oh, man, he's not getting up. He's just getting smashed. I hope you're okay. Let me make sure. That's a, it, it, it's a chick. I hope, I, hope, I hope she's okay. At least I think it's a chick. You okay? Sorry. You, you all right? No, I just want to make sure you're okay. All right, guys, take care. <laughs> Dude, she apologized for <laughs> You won, bro. You won. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking drunk idiots, dude. Sorry. Sorry. Oh my gosh. I think I just I said a a curse. Pretend I didn't. Like, see so guys, like that's the type of stuff that's going to get you in a lot of trouble up here. Is acting a fool. Have fun, of course, but like, don't be in the middle of the street, walking backwards, drunk, egging on cars. <laughs> it's like not like, usually not a good thing to do. Um, but you know, if it works for you, hey. But I'm telling you, it's probably not a good thing up here. Uh, you get your ass thrown in jail quickly for being drunk in public up here. Man, I'm telling you, like, I'm really glad they're having fun, but if you saw her eat it, my gosh dude like she ate it hard she like she she didn't just like barely hit her rump like she fell hard and uh yeah and then she apologizes to me for falling like poor thing oh that poor thing man that sucks oh do we have enough time to go to taco smell oh sh yeah yeah we're gonna f i don't have much look, look there's oh. my bad we don't have time. Five minutes. Oh shoot! Do I have any money? I don't think I. I don't think I came out with, that, with any money. That might not be good. But we are five. We have five minutes, dude. I hope they still serve me. Okay. Hang on, guys. Actually, well, I'll keep you guys with me the whole time. It's part of the experience, right? I'm gonna get some nachos, Belgrande. Yeah, boy. Yeah. Hello, hi, hi, may I help you? Hi, um, can I just get the, the number five, please, with the Mountain Dew? Number five? Yes, ma'am. Yes. How are you tonight? I'm okay, and you? I'm good. I'm good, thank you. And my yeah. voice is cracking like I'm a teenager. But, yeah. Any sauce for yourself? Fire sauce, por favor. That's it? That's it, yep. Thank you. Thank you. This lady's so sweet. She's here all the time. She's so sweet. Hang on, let me get... Let me put the phone right, up. Guys, we're just leaving Taco Smell right now. And, uh, yeah, I need to set my drink up a little better because we're going to come flying out of this turn here. Hang on. Did I just drop something out here? I know I did. Oh, dude. I don't know what that was that I dropped, but it probably wasn't good. All right. I need to fix this drink. Hang on, guys. I'm really sorry about that. Just give me a moment. Move these coins out of the cup holder and put them in the other cup holder. So my drink stays like a champ. Oh, this guy's a Barney, dude. Only street in town, he's gotta to turn down this one. Okay, we're good. Let's get a little sideways here. What do you guys think, huh? Look, there's nobody coming either way. Boulevard, folks. Look at how dead it is with all this snow and a bunch more snow coming. This is absolutely ridiculous. I love it. Shala, shala, shala. Guys, 
guys. I just love, I'm just, I'm madly in love. But that girl, my goodness, just so nice too. Like so complimentary towards me and stuff. Like, oh, I gotta stop talking about it. Can't stop thinking about it. <laughs> oh well. It is what it is. You know what, we're just gonna, Look at dude, I hit the brakes and we're, can you believe these brakes, dude? What is going on with these brakes, bro? Okay. So we were, I was gonna hit the gas and just fly up to Snow Summit real quick, but we're not gonna do that. We were gonna go through the parking lot and do a little crazy maneuvering, but I got some nachos bel grande to eat, you know what I'm saying? It's, oh my goodness gracious, my friend. No, look at the date, my friend. It's the 24th, my friend. Oh. Now, it's, it's the 24th, guys. It's a great time to get in shape. Yeah. Running on the 24th. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Can you feel it? Can you feel what's coming? Can you feel it deep? All right. Look, guys, that's no summer right there. Can't even see it because it's snow summiting. The snow is summiting. Oh my gosh, I love you guys. I can't wait to upload this video. It's gonna be so awesome because you guys are so awesome. And you'll have something to wake up to to see what it's like. Late night, late night. Are we gonna do this? Yeah, screw it, why not? Why not? We'll just do one, just a couple seconds through here. But oh yeah, that's fun, guys. That is a lot of fun. Oh wait, is that a, <laughs> dude, if that's a cop right there, I'm just, no, it's not. I'm sure he'd be fine with me having fun like this in the parking lot, as long as I don't run into these trees. Make sure it's not a cop right here. This is where they park a lot. No, no, that's definitely not a cop, but we're gonna we're gonna bust this right here. a little fun though didn't we we got pretty loose there that was a lot of fun that was a lot more fun than we usually have in this car because usually we can't get that loose so uh, I was doing something right I'm enjoying that that was fun I should put that at the beginning of this video but you know whatever most of you will not see that and that sucks but it is what it is if I cared about the views and all that stuff, I would ask you guys to subscribe and hit the like and stuff. But I just care about you guys getting the information. And, if I'm, and you know what? Of course it's nice. Like the more subscribers I get, I'm like, wow, this is actually pretty cool. But in the big scheme of things, it's just about helping you guys. So love you all. Take care of yourselves. It's the 24th of January, 2021. But this is going to be a 23rd of January video. I love you all. Big time. Period. Peace out.